What's up, people, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today I want to come to you with something in regards to wrongful death and why I call it as a lawsuit for police officers. When they are in the line of duty, they kill a person that's unarmed or be a mistake or something of that nature. Now, if you listen to my podcast, you heard me speak about iRobot and the three laws or three laws safe. Well, it actually came from Isaac Asimov, three laws of robotics. Now, what I found interesting about it, I'm going to get into, but real quick, I think what I have to start off with here is what is the actual definition of wrongful death? So now when we go into the three laws and how they apply to police officers or what makes it applicable to police officers and their police procedures, it becomes a little more clear. The definition of wrongful death is basically when a claim against a person who can be held liable for a death. The claim is brought in a civil action. And I think that's where a lot of us get kind of mixed up at because we think it is a criminal act. Wrongful death is a civil matter and is usually brought by a close relative and is enumerated by a statute. And generally, most statutes are one year from the time of death. And there are a few that have it as few as two years from time of death. And which is why it has to be filed immediately after one is determined deceased. The wrongful death definition is any fatality caused by the wrongful acts of another which may result in a wrongful death claim. Many wrongful death claims are based upon death resulting from negligence. Negligence is generally defined as acts that are done that are beyond the scope of one's duty. So when you have a police officer that is performing a stop, and again, they are armed with seven non-lethal weapons, and they choose the lethal weapon as their first choice, it now goes against their first duty, which is the preservation of life. Now, you may ask, why are police liable when they pull the trigger on a citizen? And that's actually what I just explained. Their first job is for the preservation of the citizen. And their job is to not cause harm to the citizen because it's to protect that citizen's life. Now, the reason why I brought up Isaac and the three laws is because it was the moral code to keep our machines in check. The funniest thing about that was the three laws themselves and how they apply to police. The first law is a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. This is what I mean by it applies to police officers. Law number two, a robot must obey orders given to it by human beings, except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Now you hear about police officers are not able to act when they are given false claims. They're not able to act when they are doing something that will cause harm or restrict the liberty of others. Here's why. In Law 3, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Now you often hear police officers use the phrase, I'm in fear for my life. I'm in fear for my life. 
I'm in fear for my life. You watched the video where I spoke about officer safety is not law. Why? Because their first job is to the citizen. To protect their own life is to go against protecting the life of the citizens in which they chose to protect. Now, this is just one of the many videos that I'm going to do. This is also one of the many videos that goes in this series of 100. I want you guys to understand I'm going to keep moving forward. I don't give a shit about them flagging. I don't care anything about them demonetizing. I appreciate your guys' support, and I appreciate you keep doing it. Keep donating. Apple Pay, send your name. Google Wallet, Venmo, and Cash App. If you don't already have it, hit the link in the description. Use mine. We both get paid. So until next time, keep it three laws perfect.